beautiful astrology soulmates and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of June 15th where this week Mercury is heading into retrograde. We have got this massively important um, solar eclipse. The summer solstice is on and this week we have got the summer solstice gifts coming out as well. So if you're looking for some check-in appointments, you'll be able to find them and book them down below. Now, of course, the spaces and the sessions are limited, but make sure you jump in and grab what you need for the summer season, okay? All right, let's talk about what is happening this week. Now, first of all, I want to tell you too, this week on the Eat and Greets, we've got Brian Coulter coming over. Samuel Reynolds will be over here this week as well. So the teaching is going on. And Brian Brian and I are actually going to be exploring um, into this solar eclipse and the summer solstice as well. So stay tuned for that. We'll be going live, looking at people's charts. You guys seem to like Brian and I together and we've got some good synastry. So we're going to keep that going here. Okay. All right. Now up in the cosmos, what's going on? We're really kicking off some energy um, on the 18th. This is when Mercury is going to go retrograde in the energy of Cancer. Okay, so Mercury in the energy of Cancer in general. This is a lot of emotional Cancer intelligence. Mercury, we pull these th two things together, right? Now, as we've got this emotional intelligence, more sensitive conversation happening while Mercury's in the energy of Cancer, we're fo focused, focusing, <laughs> you can tell Mercury retrograde is on the way. We're focusing more towards home, towards security, towards protection, towards nurturing. All of these things are in the territory of Mercury being here in Cancer. Now, a retrograde takes us backwards. We re, we redo, re-edit, reconnect, revisit, um, reunion with other people, right? A Mercury retrograde is famous for bringing back people from our past so that we can reconnect and do the business that we need to do with them. Now, this retrograde in the energy of Cancer gives us a great period to renovate, repair, reconstruct. I think about things at the home. Maybe you need to redecorate, right? Maybe you need to reorganize those pantries, that kitchen. I also think about the reorganization of your inner self, your inner life here, right? We've been looking over a lot of emotional intelligence, which means we're in charge of our own emotions, but we also realize how our emotions impact other people and vice versa. And what have you learned here? What's changed in this emotional body and center for you? This is a wonderful, wonderful time during this retrograde grade over the next three weeks to be able to investigate and evaluate those. And I also just think this as well. Cancer energy really does enjoy Tauran energy and Uranus is over there in Taurus. So I just have this sense that truly maybe at this time, maybe you're going back to cooking, preparing, gardening, doing something with herbs, herbal healing, um, any of these, maybe you're just getting back together with friends because we're allowed outside again right now and you can eat together and enjoy each other. So put that in your retrograde time, okay? Now on Sunday, the 21st, we move into the energy of the summer solstice, but just a day before we're going to have the eclipse and solstice energy. So it is a couple days here throughout the weekend that is very packed together. It's high impact with the solar eclipse happening. We're switching seasons. And when we switch seasons, we switch seasons. Something falls from us so that we can begin this next session and cycle of life. So we will definitely be having this. Now, how do we know we've reached the summer solstice? The sun moves into the energy of cancer. It's beautiful. Cancer is our cardinal energy that gets us started with nurturing us through the summertime. Now, the solar eclipse is also going to be right at zero degrees of cancer as well. So zero degrees, critical, critical degree to be at. We know for sure we've got a different beginning happening. The um, United States, it's very big to be seeing Cancerian energy lit up. Plus, the United States is on its way to its Pluto return. So there's just a lot happening even in the global sphere. But for us personally, the sun will be beaming nice and bright. Light, heat, life, motivation, essence will be in the places that are home and they are security. And there's a powerful shift coming to them with this eclipse. Now, the eclipse 
acts as the new moon for the month. And typically at the new moon, it's the darkest phase of the time. We're planting our seeds of intention for what we'd like to see grow and blossom next, right? And you don't know, it's dark. There's a lot of faith that happens at this time. And traditionally, we see that energy carry for about four weeks. Now, with an eclipse, we can see that spill over for the next six months. But I will tell you, too, that because this particular eclipse is at zero degrees of cancer and it is a solar eclipse, I just feel like if this is a time where you can, first of all, lighten your schedule, eclipse energy is a lot. It's draining for humans. That's a lot of energy coming for us. We're blotting out, resetting emotions, and it becomes this turning point. So if at this particular solar eclipse, you can plant your seeds of intention, I really think plant them and super duper hands off because what you'll need a lot more than actually trying to push any kind of manifestation at this particular solar eclipse is you need a lot of reflection on why you want it to change, why you want this to manifest and what you want it to look like afterwards, as well as what you're willing to do to defend, to protect and to nurture your next vision. That's a big deal when we talk about our own personal lives. That's a big deal when we talk about what's happening in the United States and globally, right? What what are we willing to do to defend and nurture our new ways of living, our new securities? This is going to be a really big week, you guys. And I think in the subsequent weeks that follow, because we've got another eclipse just coming on July 5th, right? And we're still not done with moon energies until we close out this year, as well as we've got some bigger planetary conjunctions coming together. So it all fits together beautifully as we're moving towards the second half of 2020 here. But have no doubt that this week is a nice big week to celebrate change, to welcome in the next phase, to allow some things to fall from you, lift your head and your heart to the sky, because it's a big week where we're going to get some new security landing right in our laps. Now, Ryan will be over to talk about all that good stuff this week, so I look forward to seeing you on the Eat and Greets as well. If you want to see what's happening in the daily updates, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram, and coming very quickly before we shut out this year, the Stormy Grace podcast is on the way as well so if you'd like to take me on your phone with you if you'd like to take me in your pocket take me to the shower the bathroom any place else we can talk about astrology together i'll be able to go with you there as well okay all right you guys like this video comment share subscribe click down below in the description box and you can grab your summer solstice gifts before they are gone all right you guys i love you so much and i look forward to seeing you next week bye everyone